Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas, and it's December. It's December, and we are going through our Christmas devotional. Our theme this year is Peace Has Come. And so, while I realize that not everybody is able to come on Sunday and worship with us, I thought, you know what, it's going to be easy just to read a page out of our December devotional, sit down in front of the tree, throw it up on YouTube for everyone to enjoy. Our reading today is called Lay Down His Sweet Head, and our verse is Luke chapter 2, verse 7. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Do you have a dog? Maybe you even have a bigger animal? What does the bowl or the trough look like that they eat out of? Is it clean? Would you want to eat out of it? Well, when Jesus was born, he was wrapped up tight and placed in a wooden dog bowl of sorts. I mean, think about it. When the Savior of the world was born, he was placed in one of the yuckiest, dirtiest places imaginable. No place for a newborn baby and certainly no place for a king. But even though there is a certain sense of hurriedness to the Christmas story, the timing and circumstances of Jesus' birth were not accidental. The Savior of the world was always meant to be born in such a lowly way. It was all part of God's plan. But why? Mark 10, 45, Jesus says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. So, Jesus came to bring the world love and to serve. And this simple picture of placing Jesus in the manger was an announcement to the entire world that the Messiah had come for everyone, for the young and the old, for the shepherds and the wise men, for the rich and the poor, for the sick and the needy, and for you and for me. Father God, our hearts are humbled at the thought of your precious boy coming to earth to be a servant for us. Please help us to model his example and to love and serve others in the very same way. Amen. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow for our December 18th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.